Hello all and uh, welcome to episode 7 of this mission live series which is a lifestyle for environment and this is the last episode I have really uh, enjoyed doing these episodes because uh, I feel this is scheme is very very important and the steps mentioned are very basic but not many people know about it and very few people are practicing it so uh, so this last episode which is on theme 7 which is reducing e-waste e-waste has become a challenge in this uh, world of uh, digital governance and uh, everything we do uh, including this episode of course is through gadgets electronic gadgets and there's no um, running away from them uh, the future tech is all about e-gadgets everything is becoming e and uh, newer and newer gadgets are coming up simplifying our lives making our lives better but the waste management is a challenge so this is what something uh, we should do responsibly as much as we can uh, because e-waste is a challenge now other waste you know if they, when it comes to paper and cardboard and stuff that is uh, simple to recycle there are some uh, organizations which are doing it and making it recycled paper with plastic also it's easy to recycle with glass there are established recyclers but when it comes to e-waste uh, generally the uh, scrap dealers also do not accept it and the, we don't get the value for it and then it just goes to the landfill so this is a very serious concern and if you see the percentage of uh, uh, garbage which is now e-waste is uh, going on a higher side so in the future it will be even worse and it will be an even bigger challenge so what can we do let's see some steps to reduce this e-waste now the first point mentioned in the document is to repair and use electronic devices over discarding the devices now this has become a knee-jerk reaction I mean uh, because uh, once again everything is available so fast the um, at one click you can buy new gadgets and uh, the fact that technology is also changing at a very fast speed so let's say to, today you buy uh, the one model of a phone and then soon after you know a year a new version of it is launched so the whole um, craze is uh, to have the latest model when it comes to the uh, um, the phone the laptop and the other electronic gadgets which are there so that is also there and and it's so easy to buy it's just one click away and uh, the per capita has also gone up for people so people are willing to afford these gadgets so the moment something new comes the old loses its value and there's no uh, I mean of course there you can resell it or uh, stuff like that but people have so many gadgets and uh, people uh, also other people they would want to new uh, buy new gadgets uh, not uh, when it comes to electronics people prefer newer ones rather than second hand so that's another thing so but so we should make effort to repair and use electronic devices uh, this is something uh, which we just don't think about we think if something is wrong it's just better to uh, you know it's just better to buy a new one which uh, again the uh, it's a, it's also a policy issue that it's not easy for people to get uh, electronic devices repaired so the right to service there's a big uh, movement going on in europe and uh, of course uh, uh, i think the european union has passed some uh, uh, regulations on that also that every electronic device must offer this facility of right to repair i mean every buyer should have that right to repair uh, that if I buy a device if there's something wrong with it I should not be forced to buy a new device it should not be very difficult to get this device fixed so this right to repair is very very important when it comes to electronics but as a, a responsible consumer we should do all our efforts to reuse and uh, you know repair and reuse these devices rather than just discarding them and going for the new one so the next point is that uh, the discard gadgets in nearest e-cycling uh, units uh, now this is a challenge especially in in most part of india it will be a challenge because these e-repairing centers or e-recycling units are basically not uh, that much in number maybe only in uh, the metropolitan cities and that too people will not have that kind of uh, awareness so again i think it's a, it's a, if you have this option please explore i mean do your bit 
just don't uh, discard it uh, in the first instance take some steps find out if there is a e recycling uh, facility near you is your municipality uh, also offering that service so this is something we need to um, do some special effort to find out and if it's there we should definitely avail this facility uh, next point which is mentioned is that use rechargeable lithium cells so which is uh, which is a technology thing so i not i'll not go into detail uh, these are supposed to last longer and give you long lasting uh, you know uh, device um, uh, eight years so that you don't have to discard uh, because this is again a very huge uh, challenge uh, again a policy issue uh, because most of the devices uh, uh, we stop using or discard and one of the reasons is that the battery is you know it discharges very fast or the battery is not charging or the battery goes away everything else is working fine so but then the battery goes away and uh, these days you will see that phones are coming uh, with uh, non removable batteries so earlier what used to happen is uh, if you remember the old phones the uh, the battery was separate and then if the battery is not working it could just be replaced so that is the idea of a beautiful uh, basically electronic gadget where the parts are replaceable and uh, where basically if something is not working it's like a, it should be rather like that that it should be like a lego unit uh, if the camera there's some default we can at least remove the camera and put the new camera so don't no need to replace the entire uh, phone if the battery is not working change the battery but unfortunately uh, the kind of phones you know i think to get more ip rating uh, they are making phones in a way that nothing can be removed uh, i mean it cannot be opened at all so it's like a black box so that's something uh, which the uh, government has to see and make some policies about uh, but yeah i mean we should use the most environment uh, friendly devices uh, which last uh, longer next point which is mentioned is that prefer cloud uh, storage over a pen drive or a hard drive so now very interesting point how we can reduce um, these all these uses of um, this uh, storage devices if you remember uh, a few years ago i mean uh, it was like a floppy disk i mean we are from that generation when we were in school uh, we, we used to bring the you know those files in a floppy uh, which hardly had some i don't know you know 1 mb 2 mb storage and then uh, came cds and then you know dvds and then blu ray disc and what not and then pen drive of course and then the hard disk so we have seen it all and uh, that's why there is so many devices i mean we have all the variants with us uh, but these days everything can be on the cloud so that's what is saying uh, that uh, use cloud storage as much as uh, you can so that there is no really need of a pen drive or a external hard drive and things can be shared that way very easily as well uh, so if we reduce uh, this uh, number of devices which are required uh, then uh, of course uh, we can uh, you know reduce the eventual e waste as well and uh, here also uh, to the electronic uh, devices uh, the concept of minimalism uh, uh, will come to play and uh, there are many devices these days i mean uh, for everything for very very small small thing um there is a electronic device of course it's aimed at uh, you know the idea of making our lives better and uh, driven uh, by the whole consumerism uh, phenomenon uh, so basically it's a uh, your lifestyle i think um, when it comes to certain things we should not compromise of course we need good devices to be productive we need good devices for utility but there are some things where really we can avoid uh, any kind of devices Uh, there's so many uh, unnecessary uh, equipments and gadgets which look fancy and look cool uh, but their value is very less and uh, they consume a lot of energy and then they end up as a e waste so i think there also we need to be conscious uh, we should not just uh, keep on buying uh, we should not just be compulsive buyers of electronics and gadgets and we should really uh, think about before we buy any e e gadgets always remember that the e waste is going to be a big big challenge it already is and in the future uh, with more of e gadgets coming up it will be a greater challenge so these are the points uh, on how we can uh, reduce uh, the e waste and i hope you have liked uh, this video and the previous videos and with that uh, we complete the series on uh, mission life 
it has been a wonderful learning as well reading this document and i remember the first day i read this document i feel like why people are not aware about these uh, schemes and why is there you know not much uh, i see not much talk about it and it's very uh, simple concept that it has been broken into seven themes and s- some suggestive activities and if everyone does it i mean bang i mean there will be immediate impact on the environment so please uh, share these uh, seven videos with your uh, circles within your circles the entire playlist Uh, the whole objective of making this playlist has been to spread awareness on this uh, wonderful documentation uh, which is a mission life lifestyle for environment if you just google it you can get the pdf version as well uh, but i have explained uh, all these points in these seven videos uh, so hope you liked it please share them with more let us reach more people uh, because it has to be a mass movement if we are to save the environment thank you so much for watching